So a while back, I did a video about how people of other religions will wear ridiculous costumes to signify that they are in said religion. And I said that, you know, Christians, what we wear is the doctrine and that's on the inside. And so we don't have to wear anything on our head or any certain type of dress to signify that we're Christians. But I kind of caveated that by saying that, you know, it's not like there are no standards when it comes to being a Christian and that we should just walk around in anything. And so today I'm going to explain the kind of things that Christians should wear. And it's not a specific type of thing or it's not a specific thing as in like a specific kind of hat or a specific kind of shirt, but it's that men should wear pants and shorts and women should wear skirts and dresses. Deuteronomy 22.5 says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So there's a few things that this verse is saying. It's saying that women should wear women's clothing, insinuating that there is such a category as women's clothing, and men should wear men's clothing, signifying that that's a certain category in and of itself. And it's also saying that swapping the um, dress code, cross-dressing, is a sin. You know, people say like, oh, I don't see where the Bible says it's wrong to do this or it's wrong to do that. This verse is saying that, you know, a man wearing a woman's garment or a woman wearing men's clothes is a sin, is an abomination unto the Lord. And we as Christians, we need to look like what we are. God does not like confusion. God is not the author of confusion. And so he wants things to be clear. And so if you are a woman, it needs to be clear, not just to God, because he knows already, <laughs> but it needs to be clear to everyone around you. Someone should be able to see you a hundred yards off and be able to tell, I'm pretty sure that's a woman. I, it's wearing a dress. It has long hair. It looks like a woman. Half the time you get up close to somebody and you can't tell and you're a hundred inches away from them. And that's not what God wants. He wants things to be clear and he wants things to be in order. Now, if you think that you're some kind of Bible scholar, then you might be saying that Virginia, you poor ignorant fool, that's impossible that women should not be able to wear pants because what we understand today as pants and skirts and men's clothes and women's clothes is not the same because pants were not even invented until like the 15th century or something. Well, that is actually just not true <laughs> because pants, not by that necessary name, but the concept is mentioned um, on more than one occasion in the Bible. In Exodus um, chapter 32, verse 28, it says, And a mitre of fine linen, and goodly bonnet of fine linen, and linen breeches of fine twined linen. Now what are breeches? Breeches are an old term for pants. Now, this is usually like a uh, like a southern term now in america you know you'll hear this in the south you'll say you'll hear you know usually some kind of older person say you know pick up your britches or your britches are falling down or you're losing your britches this just is pants you know i think like it's an old english term um and so that's why it's in the king james bible and it uses it on more than one occasion exodus 28 42 says and thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness from the loins, even unto the thighs that they shall reach. And so this is also an important thing about Christians' clothing. It's not good enough that we just wear, you know, pants and shorts if you're a man and skirts and dresses if you're a woman. But where where do they need to stop? You know, can I wear some thigh-high booty, you know, some mini skirt if I'm a woman? No. <laughs> okay. It needs to go down. It needs to cover your, um, your thighs. And to cover your thighs, because your thigh ends at the back of your knee so your skirt needs to come down to at least your knee this is where that that idea comes from because if you were raised christian if you were raised you know kind of fundamental in the very least then you've probably heard that your skirt needs to go to your knees or i mean you know at least you've heard your fingertips but that's not biblical i don't know where that necessarily came from but your knees is where it should end and then it can go longer than your knees you know but so anyone saying that like, oh, it has to go down to your ankles, it has to cover your, it has to cover your calf, you know, that, that's not biblical. But, you know, it can, it can stop at your knee, but it shouldn't go above that, but it doesn't have to go lower than that, okay? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. And another thing, I've been wearing a headband a lot in my videos, and I just want to, you know, just take a second, because I don't wear it all the time, but I've been wearing it a lot lately. I did not change my belief. I don't believe that you have to wear a head covering I just do this because my hair is nappy, okay? <laughs> it has nothing to do with being a Christian. 
I just wanted to cover that since I'm talking about clothes. I just, I wanted to squash it before it even became a thing, but okay, back to what we were talking about. And one last example of um, pants in the Bible is in Daniel chapter 3, verse 21, and it says, Then these men were bound, by the, bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And so, once again, we have a, uh, an instance of men, because the three people that were cast into the fiery furnace were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who were all men, and they were wearing hosen. And so, there are some verses that mention the, the word skirts, but I didn't feel like they were clear enough, in my opinion, to to nail down that they were talking about women. Um, so I'm just going to leave those out. But, you know, what we do know for a fact and what is clear from the text is that um, men wore pants, men wore hosen, men wore breeches. And so that's what men are supposed to wear. So obviously the opposite of that is what women are supposed to wear. And I'm really not reinventing the wheel right now. Like, this is a concept and this is a belief that was held for a really long time in America. Like, I think it was totally illegal for women to wear pants out and about unless otherwise, you know, explicitly stated up until like 1923. So only about a, a little over, like, you know, just by a few months, about 100 years ago. And you might think like 100 years ago is a really long time, but really not in the grand scheme of humanity. 100 years ago is like yesterday. And so... You know, women have been uh, like farming and working factory jobs and playing sports and, you know, doing all types of things. They've been living life to the fullest in skirts and dresses. And if you think that, oh, well, I'm a, I have to work. Oh, I have to do X, Y, and Z. I can't just sit around and, you know, pitter-patter in the kitchen all day in my cute little frilly dress. You know, that's okay. <laughs> you can do anything that you need to do or that you want to do. It can be done in a skirt or a dress. And so there are no excuses because there was a time when that's all you could have worn. So that's all you had as an option. And if you're like, oh, well, I'm a nurse or whatever. I do X, Y, and Z and they don't make stuff like that anymore. It's out there, folks. If you want it, you can find it. It took me no time at all to find, um, you know, like medical scrubs today that are skirts that women could wear, you know, you don't normally see women in that kind of stuff now because that's what they wore back in the day, but it's still out there. There's nothing new under the sun. There's still a market because there are, there are women who think like me, who read their Bible and know that, you know, they should be in skirts and they, and they, but they, they still have to work, you know, sometimes you just got to work. I'm not saying that every woman who works is um, not in accordance with God because life doesn't always work out the way that you want it to or that it's supposed to. Um, and so you might have to do that, but you can still be in accordance with God. And like, I worked at Domino's, um, for a little while. And that's like the only job that I had, that I had a dress code after I became a fundamentalist and I started only wearing skirts and dresses. Cause like before that I had jobs where I could wear whatever I wanted. So it was never a thing. But when I started working at Domino's, I explicitly asked them, I said, can I wear a skirt with my uniform? Cause you had to wear, you know, the, the blue button, you know, polo shirt, and then you had to wear black slacks. And so I was like, can I wear a black skirt? And the manager that I was talking to, he was like, uh, I don't know, you got to ask. And so I asked the manager above him and she said it was fine, you know, cause I'm a woman so I can wear skirts and that's what I wore. And I wore that every day. And I even had someone uh, question me one time. I went to another store to help them out and I, they always saw me in my skirt and they were like, you know, why do you wear that? And I said, you know, it's because of my religion. I'm a, uh, oh, I said, it's because of my religion. And she was like, oh, what religion are you? And I said, I'm a Christian. And that always catches people off guard because they, they just know you're going to say that you're a Mennonite or you're a Muslim or something. But no. And so long story short, if there's a will, there's a way. You don't have to make excuses about not wearing your skirt like you're supposed to or wearing your dress. They have cold weather dresses and skirts that, you know, you can wear in the wintertime. There's active, there, there's active, you know, skirts. There's like, you know, tennis skirts and, um, you know, stretchy dry fit skirts that you can wear. It's out there. You know, if you want it, if you want to be in accordance with God, you can be. And if push comes to shove, you can just make your own. So women need to be in skirts that at least go to the knee and men need to be in shorts that at least go to the knee. These little five inch inseams are not cutting it, gents. Okay. And so... We need to be modest, we need to cover our nakedness, and we need to be in accordance with our gender.